Welcome now to we Star begin. Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Okay. I really do not need people help here. you can interact with have icons above their heads. Yeah, I don't you need can anybody. press the interaction key. I think I don't need any more help. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of okay. course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. <laughs> yes, I'm a cadet. I don't look Okay, got to wanna talk to him. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavra. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Okay, time to talk to Tavra. Over here. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, <laughs> well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. That's a little Vulcan. Now we're going to talk to Morik. Okay. Hey. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The yep. buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Okay, locate. Lieutenant Ferres. Yes. Starting from the beginning. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I... Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Thank you. Uh... Come. <laughs> Talk to the captain? Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Okay. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're yes, dismissed, sir. cadet. It's I have to go this way. Doo -doo -doo. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain wants me on his senior staff. Any advice? You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Tigert expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you don't. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. 
seems okay. most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? Yes. I never seem to spot them. See? Ooh, I that, sometimes that forget that Boothby is a hologram. Uh, a dirty home. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Boothby is a hologram? When did that Last happen? one of the console buys the first round tonight! Looks like I'm gonna lose some money. Of course. Setting up the training program now. Uh, phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Okay. Let's go. Let's get away out of the boring. First. Auto loads, that's good. Can I remember? I'll move to the center. Begin program. Okay. Those phasers. Where would you be without shooting to cling on to the phasers? Yep. Exit simulation. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! First officer? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor to serve with you. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. I'll go with, it's a lot of pressure. I'm hoping, I hope I'm up to it. You'll do great, but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okay. Let's go pretend like we're gonna actually get drunk. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. <laughs> this mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Lead a toast. Inspire the cadets. Be humble. Galvanize the cadet. We go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us, putting everything we've learned here to Starfleet Academy and the USS Dorling to her crew. Raise the glass! All cadets, please board your shuttles. Yay! Okay. Are you ready to head to the ship? Wow, already 10, 12 minutes. That's not good. I 
can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. <clears throat> Yeah. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, surprisingly enough, I think that's the I'm gonna end up with that in the long run. The command cruisers. Oh, we need to talk to somebody. We need to talk to her. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here, sir. We Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Heading Use to the, the turbolift behind me. It will take you directly wow. down. Wow. This is taking... Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Okay. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. the tractor mooring. Okay. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. I was annoying. Time to sit down. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Mm -hmm. okay, that you heard the nice. distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Strange that the transmission of the audio and warp core emergencies should shouldn't affect communication. Good. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, it could be a try. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Okay. Off to rescue people. Of course. Even should be in range. Give me an update. 
I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chuck. Okay. Captain, what happened? Doc, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, okay. I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag us out. Now we get to kill Klingons. We get to do a lot of that. Get me a level one rifle. Wait, I don't have my kit yet. Okay. Order cuts. Oh yeah, it's a sniper rifle. Why should that have done that with that one? Okay. Gotta repel more. on Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Okay. One thing in Star Trek Online, sometimes you have options, different ways of handling a situation as crew specific. So. I gotta go fix stuff. Since I'm an engineer. Structural integrity up. Oh yeah. The Ryans are also allies of the Klingons now. Or somewhat. Glad thing I went to that training simulation. one here. Where is it? Oh, beneath me. Gotta think Starfleet builds stuff. Down. Number one, we've got injured Go up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party we at any time. This area. I need you back on the bridge. Do you have to go up? You have to go up. I hope. Otherwise, you're gonna watch me we'll run around for five minutes. Of course, that's what you're doing anyways, but... Back.
I wonder why they don't actually give the thing on shields. Okay. I'm an engineer, not a doctor. Okay, that was bad. Incoming transmission from the clan. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chant. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. Their signal. What now? Okay. Let's talk to you. We we survived, but the captain, Captain Tiger, knew what would happen, and he okay. gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now? All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape, too, Captain. Damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll yeah, be safe from Kaden. Federation. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible Looks for like adjusting the speed of the ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Yep. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them... We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors.
can go. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Okay. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Distribute power. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. <laughs> okay. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Zarva's dealing with the Warp Corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tivrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Those are good. Love my grips. I don't know quite exactly how many of them I haven't forgotten about you! Think your ship can take a couple more hits! Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Send distress signal. That Klingon ship took some... Understood. I've also the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It's pretty it far show up, up on the map. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other At systems. At least you won't have to do the tutorial after you watch this. I can make your death swift! Your ship is... Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their target, keeping them within the broadside arc at all times. Hover your mouse over a and this firing arc will be shutting down your ship in space. have that ready for when I get there. Should stay long enough active. Flying around, flying around. Yeah. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to the shield. This will divert power from your other shields. does take a long time. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? 
A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his order? So, I take it you are in yep. command now. Yes, sir, I am. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown yes, out. Back to full. Yeah, I gotta get a lot better at... What is it? Is it a sovereign? I think it is a sovereign. I guess it should be pretty evenly bad. Your captain burns for his life before I kill him. Accepting danger is part I of the sovereign office. It's time to have learned this lesson well. Fight. My house will avenge me! We have a base in the yet. Disruptor breach. The Renown will escort you back to Earth's space dock, but first we must inform the USS Kittimer that. One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew, and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth's space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. Okay. Set up for the next part. Okay. A competent engine and a gun for me. For me, not for her. I'm gonna take the sniper rifle. to the next piece of the tutorial.